Hi, it's Kate from The Fold Line. I am back this week with the edit. This is our weekly roundup of new sewing patterns. Um, I hope you've had a nice week so far. Um, for those of you interested in Dog Watch, she is on my lap as we speak because I've tried to start filming this three times now and she lies on the floor with her tummy in the air crying until I pick her up like the diva that she is. So she's just sitting here getting the attention that she doesn't deserve. Um, anyway, we have got a really good week of stuff. First and foremost, Fibre Mood is here, the spring one. S sorry, is this boring? Now oh, she's looking for cats. Anyway, right, I'm gonna pop her down. I'm gonna talk Fibre Mood because it's quite exciting. So, 12 patterns. Their spring one is always like the one, which I really love. Um, pattern sizing for this is a UK 6 to 30. Um, these are all the patterns actually. If I should come in like that, that might be an easy way to show you. These are all the patterns that are included. Obviously I will go in and have a bit of a look. So 12 patterns. Um, obviously anyone who hasn't discovered Fibre Mood before, um, the patterns are all in the middle, like so. Um, you do need to trace them off because they're all overlapping. Then we've got the line drawing as well. So you can see the line drawings of all of the garments here that are included. And then at the back, there are the instructions, which are quite kind of, there's not a huge amount of written instruction. You can go onto their website and download a full kind of written instruction. But actually, if you're quite a competent sewer, I've just done it following the pictures. I think you can do it. So it's, it's definitely a non-essential. Right, let's talk about some of the patterns in there. I'm gonna start with the cover image, the Eden, Eden jacket which I love it's like a mix it feels like a bit of a kind of elevated bomber jacket so I come right in you can see so it's v-neck it's got this kind of really great little um puff sleeve it sits three quarter length if I show you it on in another fabric um but I think I really like this one it's on the cover actually so I really like this that she's made it in quite a floaty fabric I think it works really well but I think it's really great it's kind of an so bomber jackets are very much in at the moment so I like this it's kind of a very kind of a kind of girly version of a bomber this summer dress is so cute so I'm as you probably are aware all about plain stuff but I love it when there's like a fun little detail. So this dress is called Ramona and um, it looks quite simple on the front and then it's got this really lovely little tie detail on the back. I was thinking, obviously this is a really great summer dress, but it would be a really nice thing to wear to an event if you've got a summer event, because it's kind of like, looks quite understaged and then it's got a little bit of party, party action at the back. Um, this is, in terms of the photo shoot, quite banterous this one. So this dress is really lovely. It's a kind of a tiered kind of summer dress. They have made it in a tulle. I'm just gonna show you the picture. Um, so you do not have to make it in a clear nude colored tulle to wear over your normal <laughs> outfit. You can also just make it in a nice cotton. Um, it would be a really lovely dress. There is a lovely, they've actually got two really great tops. This one is one of them, the Georgie. Um, you can see it's got these really lovely pleats on it. It makes it quite sort of sculptural. I like that because it's kind of simple but interesting. Then there is um, this blouse, which I really liked as well. Let me find it. This one at the front, it's called Myla. And you can see that it's like quite, again, quite simple, but it's got these really sort of sculptural pleats in the sleeve, which I think are really interesting. There is the most incredible dress and it's called, it's called the Dallas dress. Um, I love it. Right, this is it, one variation of it. So you can see it's got this like, quite simple at the front, but it's got this amazing, incredible cape at the back. You can also make it so that it is long. And it, oh God, it's just so beautiful. Right, that's it if it's long. And I just think it's so amazing. It's just lovely. 
Um, what else is there? Great. There is really, it's really nice actually. This one, this set, this issue. Um, there's this kind of amazing dress with kind of ruched detail at the hip that can also then be made into a skirt as well, which is quite interesting. But yeah, they're really great patterns this time. I really liked them actually because sometimes there's a kind of a couple of I always think a couple of slight duds, but actually this this one definitely not. Um, yeah, I think that's kind of the core the core ones. Oh, this dress is quite nice actually. Um, quite simple, but it's just got this sort of tie detail at the front that kind of adds a little bit of something something. Let me calm it in like that, and then. Um, I'll show it to you in a fabric that's quite floral so you can see. But yeah, all in all, it's a really great one. So yeah, and 12, did I say 12 patterns? So yeah, so that is now available, ready to go. Patterns now, okay, quite pumped about these because they're just, all of them are really nice. So we've got three patterns from Iron Pattern. We've got four patterns from the assembly line. I'm only going to talk about three of them. And then we've got a bag from So Liberated. So first things first, Iron Patterns. They're PDF only. You can get Copy Shop with them if you'd like to. And the sizing on them is a UK 6 to 20. So the first one is the Valerie jumpsuit. So this is a jumpsuit dress and top. Boom. This is great value for money. Um, anyone who has made and loves the Ogden. Um, I feel like this is like a really great option. If you wear it a lot, there's a lot of things that you could either hack your Og Ogden um, pattern or if you want an easier life, <laughs> this is available. So if I show you the line drawing, you can see, you can obviously it's like a very lovely, simple cami slip. Um, it's got darts, which is, I love. Then you can make it into a short little play suit you can then make it into a long like jumpsuit so the trousers are long and into a kind of long strappy dress so it feels like you get quite a lot of bang for your buck with this pattern um obviously lovely simple shape and you know it's such a classic style i was thinking if you made the jumpsuit one for a holiday that would be the sort of thing you'd reach for every time you go away it's just yeah really great so if you haven't seen that one yet go and have a look then we've got the Harmony tra Harmony? Harmony. Harmony? Harmony. Who knows? You tell me. Um, trousers and shorts. So these again, PDF only and come in a size UK 6 to 20. I really think these are completely wonderful. And we were talking about what a nice shape they were. So, um, and quite a lot of options. So it's a kind of a wide leg trouser. It's got two quite extreme, like quite big pleats at the top of the trouser. You can either make it full length, cropped. You can either have it at knee length, which I think looks really chic, or you can have it then slightly like with a turn up tr as a short or even a shorter short. So there's quite a lot of variation again with these. But I personally love the ankle grazer wide leg. They look amazing. Um, they're so beautiful. I also really like that the um, the pleats are stitched down um, at the top of the trouser, which I think makes everything look really kind of clean and beautiful. Um, they're just fab. So they're high waisted. They've got a fly patch pockets at the back. Um, you know, put, um, um, pockets on the front. So yeah, they're just really lovely. Everyone. At, at, all the team have been swooning over these ones in particular. And then we've got a shirt, which is really great. Again, they've just done it really nicely this time with loads of different options. So there's the Amy shirt. It's a unisex pattern. And if I show you the line drawing, you can see that basically there are quite a lot of things that you can do with this. I always love iron patterns because they always provide so many um, different samples on the model. So you can really get an idea of what you're going to get. So you can either make it, so the, I think the idea of this is like the kind of concept that you've almost picked up your boyfriend's shirt, so it's quite boxy and relaxed. You can either have it so it's cut quite short, you can have it so it's sitting as kind of a slightly kind of boxy oversized, I said would be sitting kind of um, upper thigh, 
then you can also cut it so that it is long and I really like that they've made it in something so you can have it as like a beach cover up but they've also made it in a quilted fabric so that it's almost like a jacket so there's actually loads of different it's very inspiring because seeing it in different fabrication gives you loads of different ideas of all the things that you can do with it there are different pockets that you can put on um, and really kind of make your the shirt that you really want for yourself so yeah it's a really good one and you can obviously like tie it at the front yeah it's nice the styling ideas on this are really good as well so that one is there if you're thinking shirts so many shirt releases this year don't you don't you agree that's just wild anyway next up assembly line we've got four patterns from them i'm just going to talk about three of them the first one is so great um the balloon sleeve dress this is paper only comes in a uk 8 to 30. i absolutely love this right let's have a look at the line drawing and see what is going on so you can either make this with um you can either make this sleeveless you can have a short sleeve or you can have it with this amazing balloon at the bottom um it's great that it's princess seams. I think that makes it really interesting. It's a very understated dress, but that sleeve really makes it amazing. This would be perfect for like a summer wedding. Um, and you could make it in so many different things. It would look incredible if you're going to an event to make it in a crepe. It would just like, the sleeves would just look so like sumptuous and beautiful with the draping. Um, it's just so clever, it's really lovely. I really, really like it. It's been really popular so far. Um, and I love the shape of the dress that it's quite kind of relaxed fit, but then it's got this kind of beautiful sleeve. It's just really, really clever. So I'm that, I, oh, is that my favorite? It might be my favorite of the week. I just really think it's gorgeous. So if you haven't had checked it out yet, do. Um, next up, we've got the barrel line, barrel line, barrel leg trousers from the assembly line. Um, again, pa paper only, sizing on this is a UK 8 to 30. Just be aware with all of these, sorry, I should have said, they come in two different size bandings, so just make sure if you are interested to make sure you get the right one. Barrel leg trousers, very much on trend for this season. Um, they are really lovely shape. They're kind of not too extreme, which I personally really like. You can see that they've got these really great big patch pockets on the back, which feel quite like um, a pair of like men's jeans, which I think makes it kind of, that's a really nice kind of detail. Um, and obviously then it tapers down to the ankle. They're just gorgeous. I really love the shape of them. Um, I probably prefer these not in a denim actually. I think I like them in that like sandy color that she's made them in, um, but obviously it's complete personal preference so yes that is that from them and then last but not least I've got this really lovely um top called the billow blouse so this again paper only comes in the same sizing um it's raglan sleeve it's got um elasticated around the neckline elasticated around the cuff and then it's just kind of it's, it's gathering so it is really simple construction, but actually creates quite a dramatic effect. I think it's a very useful item for your wardrobe. I like also how, um, obviously it's called billowy, but I like how it is very um, relaxed around the waist. So it creates quite an interesting sort of silhouette. Um, it's just a lovely blouse. If you haven't seen that one, that's worth having a look at. And last but not least, it is a pattern from So Liberated. It's called Le Oeuf Bag, um, egg bag, uh, obviously because of its oval shape. It's a really sweet little one, actually. I was thinking, it's like, I was talking about this, if you saw my bag edit last week, that it was a nice, like going out sort of a bag, but because it's got, you can see it's got this really nice sort of external pocket. It also has, if you flip it around to the other side, you can see there's a zip on the back. So there's a zip at the back and then there's the main compartment of the bag. So actually there is quite a lot of um, space for your stuff. So it's a really great little bag actually. And I love it. The round bag is a real thing at the moment. So yeah, it's definitely worth going and having a look at if you're feeling like you'd like to make a bag. So that is it from me this week. I hope that there's something nice in there for you. I feel like there's a lot of patterns and um, yeah, I'll be back next week. And maybe next week I might not be wearing 
a winter jumper you know as we are knee deep in spring but you never know maybe next week it will be a little bit warmer but until then i'm in my knitwear bye